Hey guys, welcome back to Cook Like Sasha. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a delicious and easy surf and turf dinner at home using lobster and pork. So I'm taking you guys on a short journey to the Old Arbor Bay fishing village where I'm going to select some fresh shot lobsters. So it's located about 20 kilometers outside of uh, Spanish Town, and it's pretty easy to find once you get into Old Arbor. So let's go! Here I am selecting some fresh caught lobster, and yeah, the man here is just showing me what the options are. I selected some medium sized ones. And yeah, they were pretty good, pretty fresh. And the thing about Old Arab Bay is that if whatever seafood you buy, you can get somebody to clean it up for you right away on the spot. So you don't have to worry about removing, removing the lobster tail or cleaning it up. Or if you buy fish, they just clean everything for you on the spot if you request. So now that all my lobsters are well cleaned and washed, let's go to the supermarket and grab some pork. So here I have the copperwood pork. It's These cuts are called the country style ribs and the quality of the pork is very good and affordable. Copperwood pork is a Jamaican brand so support brand Jamaica guys, quality is really great. So now that we've done shopping, it's time to start cooking and I'm starting out by preparing the seasoning for the pork. It consists of salt, black pepper, paprika, red chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, ginger powder and sugar. And you're gonna mix that up really well. I'll be providing the details for the measurements in the description below so ensure that you check it out. Before you begin, you need to ensure that you've washed the pork properly and dry off all the water using a clean paper towel. So to season our pork, we're gonna sprinkle on the seasoning generously. Ensure that you get every part of the pork, all the sides, flip it and do the same thing. Don't be shy with the seasoning, you want to coat the pork in the seasoning and you're going to pat it in. What you're gonna do with the seasoning on the plate is to use it to season the sides of the pork so you're not wasting anything. So what you're gonna do next is to place the pork in a very hot pan with very hot oil. Lay it away from you so that you know burn up yourself. And you're gonna just let the pork sear for about three minutes on high heat until it get that nice crust on the outside. It's supposed to be a nice crisp crust on the outside. So you're gonna flip the pork and do the same thing on the other side and ensure that you also sear the sides of the pork. What searing does is that it locks in the moisture so that the meat will be juicy and tender. Now we're going to work on that delicious butter infusion. So you're going to start out with about 2 tablespoons of butter and some thyme. So once that butter has melted, you're going to literally bathe the pork in the butter. Like give it a butter bath. Make them swim around in the butter and allow that thyme to be infused. You're going to do this for about 3 minutes and then you're going to cover the pot and leave it on extremely low heat for about three to five minutes and then you're gonna turn off the stove and your pork will be done while that is chilling we're gonna work on the potatoes and the rest of the meal i'm starting out by peeling my potatoes and then i'm going to dice them into 
some cubes as equal as I can and then I'm gonna put them to boil until they are cooked so I'm working on a simple sauce for the potatoes I'm starting off by adding two tablespoons of butter to a warm pan and I'm gonna allow that to melt as soon as it melts I'm going to add some mayonnaise and I'm keeping this on low heat so I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of mayonnaise and I'm gonna work it into the butter as much as I can then I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt black pepper some paprika mixed with red chili powder and some dried parsley flakes Once everything is combined, I'm going to add some freshly grated white cheddar cheese. This is the same kind of cheese like anchor cheese. So I'm going to add that and I'm leaving some out. So this is about a third of a cup, close to, no, about three quarter cup of cheese, yeah. So you're going to add that, combine it in the sauce and then you're going to add your potatoes and mix them in gently. So this is why you don't want to overcook your potatoes because at this point if they were too soft they would be mashing out and yeah they wouldn't have that nice dice look and just look at that cheese it's so melty and stretchy remember to like comment share and subscribe and remember to click that bell icon so you'll never miss another video so to finish up this beautiful potato dish what we're gonna do is to top it off with some red chili powder or paprika and top it off with the rest of that cheese put it in the oven to bake for about 10 minutes and then to broil for a further 10 minutes so that broiling on on top is gonna give you that nice color and the cheese is gonna be super delicious guys trust me you don't want to stop eat this it nice bad all right so now that the potatoes are done i am moving on to the lobster because the lobster is the easiest to cook it takes the least amount of time so what i'm doing i'm just removing my lobster heads by simply cutting through that space that joins the tail to the head of the lobster you can save the head for later use maybe boil some soup or whatever you want to do with it. For seasoning, I am using salt, black pepper, paprika, and then for some added spice, I am using some roughly chopped dried chili pepper that I had. I just roughly chop them, mix them up in everything, and then I am going to add that to the lobster lightly. To top it off, I'll be using some olive oil infused with garlic, and this is going to help the seasoning to stick on the lobster and also give it a lot of flavor. So now that everything is nice and seasoned and looking delicious, we're going to start off cooking the lobster by adding them to some nice melted butter. So you're going to turn the lobster meat side down, shell up, and you're going to allow it to cook for about 3 to 4 minutes, meat side down. Then you're going to carefully turn the lobster up and allow it to cook for a further three to four minutes then you're gonna add some more of that garlic olive oil infusion and that's gonna really kick up the flavor of the lobster and the flavor of the dish how you know the lobster is cooked is when the meat is no longer translucent and it gets really white that's how you know it's cooked you can also stick it with a fork and you can feel the difference in the texture and just like that you are done with your lobster and pork surf and turf served with creamy cheesy delicious 
potatoes. This dinner literally took me about 35 minutes to prepare from scratch and for the price about $1500 for a plate. You can't beat it guys. So just stay home, stay safe, follow this recipe and I hope you have a great delicious dinner. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comment section below. And until next time, this is Cook Like Sasha. Bye, guys.